guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sinead, and in today's video, we'll be showing you how to take care of your anemone and our top tip. So keep watching. All anemones require slightly different water parameters, prefer different positions in the aquarium, have differing tolerance to light and flow, and can grow in a myriad of sizes, colours, and shapes. Far too many to list in one video. Anemones grow from a foot, which they can use to manoeuvre around the aquarium to a spot they prefer. This can happen for a multitude of reasons, but is most commonly caused by a lack of feed, incorrect positioning, or irritation from a neighbour or member of the tank's livestock community. It's important to note that the size and colour of an enemy can be used as an indicator of its condition. Pale, shrunken specimen are likely to be unhappy, and it's the aquarist's job to find and fix the issue before it's tried to fix the situation itself. Try not to paste the anemone too close to the powerhead, as they can be drawn in and killed or damaged. A mature marine aquarium is also a must to provide a stable and healthy environment. We recommend a minimum tank age of 12 months. You may have noticed that clownfish are often near an anemone. That's because the clownfish and the anemone have a symbiotic relationship. This is where both species benefit each other and live in harmony. The clownfish is provided with protection and shelter, and the anemone is provided with nutrients. Anemones need to be fed much like all other livestock, and will quickly lose condition and even perish without a reliable and nutritious food supply. Anemones can be fed all sorts of things, such as prawns, shrimp, or other shellfish, but we recommend purpose-made anemone food such as that from Vitalis. If you want to keep your anemone from wandering and moving about, then try and feed the anemone in the same area, and this will encourage them to stay put and not move about the tank. We recommend feeding them twice a week to ensure that they are receiving adequate care and high quality ingredients to properly nourish them. And that's everything you need to know about anemones. Make sure to keep an eye out for the product of the week this Friday, as we'll have more information on the Vitalis anemone pellets. Thanks so much for watching and if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.